So I apologize for any shaking here, but <clears throat> I'm using my iPad to film this. So just want to give you an overview of uh, how you'll change your setting from shutter priority to aperture priority. So on all of your cameras, you're going to have the same dial, except for a couple of you who have your own kind of cameras. But on the ones from our school, you're going to have this dial. And obviously right now it's set to shutter priority and you're gonna to wanna to change that to aperture priority. So that's just switching it to that A right there. Once you've done that, over here, you can turn on your camera, and if you just tap the shutter, you'll see what your settings are right now. Now, I think we know this at this point, but what this is telling me is a couple things. Number one, my shutter speed right now is three seconds, which is super long. Um, number two, my aperture is uh, f-stop 18, which is a very closed aperture. And number three, my ISO is 400. Now in this assignment, I'm gonna give you a specific ISO, and what I want you to do is mess around with this aperture priority. So you'll notice if I change this dial in the front here, that's actually adjusting the aperture. And you notice how both of the numbers are changing, but what I'm actually controlling is this number over here by rotating this front dial. You'll recall that when I'm in shutter priority, it's when I rotate this back dial that changes it. That's really important to know because when you go to manual mode, you can actually change each one independently. So for now, what you're practicing is how the, they relate to each other. Now, what your camera is going to try to do in aperture priority mode is give you an appropriate exposure. So one that's a balanced exposure. So right now, if I'm at F5, you notice that my shutter speed is one over four seconds, which is still pretty slow. So I need more light. So I have a couple options to get more light. Number one, I could go to a brighter place. Right now I'm at my desk, so it's pretty dark. Um, so I could go outside, get more light. I could also bring in a light. I could bring in some kind of thing that would create more light or I can increase my ISO. And remember, your ISO button's on the back of your camera. So let's say I increase my ISO to 2500. Notice now I have 25, 1 25th of a second, which is still pretty slow, but at least it's faster than it was. And as I increase my aperture, I make it a smaller hole. Again, we see that that shutter speed goes down because it needs to expose properly. So the max I can get right now is 1 50th of a second, and I can take that picture. That's as good as I can do in aperture mo mode with my ISO. Now you can play this game and you can go as high as you can, depending on your camera. <laughs> Mine goes to ISO 25,600, and you'll notice that that shutter speed goes way up. The thing you're, you're sacrificing there is I'm going to get a really grainy picture here. So um, that's the danger of going that high, and obviously on my camera, it's a little bit better than some of the ones you have, so um, it's gonna be less noisy, but you just wanna watch out. You really don't wanna go above ISO 2500 on your cameras uh, if you want a really clear, good picture. And generally, you wanna stay lower. You wanna be down at like 800, somewhere in that range, and just find more light. That's the key thing. And that way, that shutter speed can still go up.